let's 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 do it. Let's let's start. So let's start by revealing E tier, and we're going to work our way up, obviously. Okay, so oh, yeah. so let's go with E right here. So boom. So E obviously E is the the bottom the bottom the bottom tier, right? Like the the lowest dumbbells that you have. Uh, you know the returning lost borachos that Sonic <laughs> Boom. <laughs> to, to remind you, borachos is like you know the, it means drunk in Spanish, and like Sonic Boom has such like a good atmosphere in the evening because you know like there is a bar inside and there is an outside the place to play. So it was awesome. So these guys have to be on the list, and we always be on the list. Uh, and the newcomer, obviously, we've seen it a million times this weekend, is the the infamous. <laughs> Which is just. <laughs> the amount of mashed auto combo, like, <laughs> and especially with GT Goku, it's just like, oh come on, man! Like, yeah, and I was watching, I was rewatching Top Eight, and it's funny because we really can hear uh, RMZ behind, uh, like screaming lo, 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 at, at every occasion. <laughs> so it, it was really funny to like rewatch it. Yeah. So. Yes, like, and last but not least, obviously, you know, like the Twitch chat always a shout out because like sometimes it's great, sometimes it's, it's stupid, but it's part of the experience. And, you know, you have to you have to shout out the, the, the Twitch chat, right? Of course, man. Of course. Like Twitch, Twitch chat, you know, they're always, they're always backseat gamers. So, yeah, you know how it is. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, it's, uh, this, is, this is the lowest tier. This is E tier. Uh, this is the waste man. Uh, <laughs> so let, let, let's go to the people who are a little bit less waste than E, but still waste, okay. waste man technically. All right, let's move up. Here. so this is like <laughs> this is like personalities and stuff so so, so some somehow better than the the memes but not by much <laughs> it's still you know like some so the first three the weather for the sonic blue obviously so so sharin obviously shout out to sharin the the, the max poder of course not the, the maximum power <laughs> obviously myself the most calvo you yourself Karen, <laughs> this name is never gonna drop from you man. yeah <laughs> Baracho, let's go. <laughs> and you know, the new, uh, the new entrant to, uh, to our list. So, so it's Stacy Steve. And for those of you guys who uh, were Street Fighter Five, uh, there was Game Over, which is a, a premier event in in Dominican Republic. And the Dominican Republic community, <laughs> they named Stacy Steve Esteban Sabroso because you know Esteban is like you know, like Spanish. Oh, that's so, that's so that's so good. And obviously, you have to give shout outs to like his, his freaking gigantic biceps. <laughs> <laughs> That's way too good. So, you know, for my mom. <laughs> hesitating at the beginning because I called him uh, uh, Brazos Grandes, which means the big arms. Because of the big <laughs> arms! <laughs> the biggest, biggest arms. Biggest oh, wait, that's too good. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> That, that shit is way too fucking good. Wait, can you guys hear me, by the way? Yeah. I, 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 I don't understand how, because I can... Uh, hang on a sec. It sounds let fine me, to me. Let me let me literally like put my mouth on the mic, you know, like that. <laughs> how, how, how's that? Is that better? Can't hear... This guys, guy, I can't hear Damascus at obviously, all. Uh, you know, you need to... Uh, to hear me? Let, me? let me add some gains in my mic as well. Yeah. All right. That should be good. I'm guessing. You can hear me. I can. I can hear a bit of uh, of an echo. So I'm guessing you can hear me. Yeah. That that, that, that should be fine. I mean, you can, but then you waste man stream can't. Yeah. I don't know what's going on. But maybe they need to just turn their their freaking volume up. <laughs> All right. So. How is it, guys? Yeah. Can you can you can you hear so, us? Uh, uh, Esteban Sabroso. <laughs> is way too good. Listen. Esteban Zabroso is too funny. I uh, you know obviously a uh, shout out to uh, shout out to him honestly because like Steve was actually only here only here for Tekken. But you know he took some time to join and like come by uh, Dragon Ball and you know like just you know just meet up with the Dragon Ball community. Uh, there was a match or stream that was I remember there was Seridan against uh, against Dogra mm. part of stream and obviously everyone was behind because we all like wanted to cheer for our boy. Uh, but Steve immediately like he came in he was chatting with like people, he saw people going behind, he immediately went and he was immediately hyped for Suridan. Like that's the kind of guy he is. Yeah, no, he, he was he was getting hyped for uh, for, for Suridan, yeah. Yeah, so you know, like he, he's that guy, right? He's coming and he's bringing the hype. Mm. So, so, you know, he's coming into that tier list in tier D, Esteban Sabroso. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> 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 Honestly, big shouts to Tasty Steve. Like, like I've, I've, 
I was feeling kind of tired because, you know, it was a long day's work and stuff. But then yeah. the second he got on the mic with me, I'm just like, whoa, I'm immediately woken up. And like, it's he, like he's, he's a living, he, he's a living sensor being. Yeah, he actually is. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, for sure. All right, let's, let, all right, let's move up to C here. All right, let's move up to C. I see. <laughs> so C, C is going to be the players who are like in, in the lower <laughs> tier of top 16. So <laughs> I'm going to this. But obviously first... Uh, you know, Xerox, who got uh, 13, but, you know, like, by the way, have to shout out the, the this, German roots. This, la forma this pitch is too good, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like that uh, you made it on the sticker on WhatsApp. As well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, you know, la for, so for those of you guys uh, who don't know about Abboden, uh, if you, that happened in Fight Club NRW last year in Cologne. If you play the game in German, uh, K.O. is Amboden, and like, I don't know, it's uh, so out of nowhere that we just like kept it forever. So, you know, you will hear Amboden in, uh, in European communities around. <laughs> That's so good. It's the classic. <laughs> <laughs> then, then is Noka. Uh, Noka was a huge drop because he was uh, S tier. Because he won Sonic Boom, yeah. so got S, and then he uh, lost in pools mm. this time. Uh, lost to Hayat in, uh, lost to Hayat in, uh, in losers bracket. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, obviously, because he was the Sonic Boom champion, even though he was not on top 16, he has to be part of the tier list still because he's still, you know, he's still one of the guys, one of the guys to follow. Yeah, no, no, no. So, no, 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 no is definitely, like, one of the guys to look out for in France. Sure, he didn't get, like, he didn't win the tournament again. Like, yeah. it, it wasn't stacked as Sonic Boom, but he still did well, and he's still going to be, you know, one of the guys to watch. So, yeah. yeah, but just saying, his life is on the line. If he doesn't make top 16 at Celtic Throwdown, he's out of the tier list. You, you're done. That's it. Zeno, so, so no, Zeno. You, you better step up, fam. Zeno Sama. Yeah, that's right. So. <laughs> step, step up, step up, fam. Step up. Uh, then, you know, Wade, base Wade, like La Forma Normal, you know, the, the Wade, the normal Wade, which happened at Sonic Boom, <laughs> is, uh, <laughs> it's, uh, he's still there. Yeah, he did pretty uh, good. He actually beat Noka at this tournament, right? In winners. Uh, I'm trying to think. I'm pretty sure they did they, because they, they, they had to play. No, 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 no Noka yeah, won, and and then Noka lost to Faisal. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, right. yeah. So so Wade basically lost his his second game of the tournament and then went all the way to top sixteen. Mm. So that's a great run for him as well. Yeah. Yeah. He did really well. Uh, but you know, this is just la, la forma normal. Obviously, that, that's the normal. <laughs> that's that's base Wade. That's just like you know. Yeah. That's the normal. Uh, next to him is the one and only Shanks Boracho. You know, like the. <laughs> The, the shanks you don't trust. The we, shanks who don't take DRs. Yeah, we, we, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, <laughs> the non-taking DR shanks, yeah. <laughs> and, and, and last but not least, uh, you know, Kasuga, two strong performances. Uh, top 8 at Sonic Boom. Yep. Top 16 at, uh, at Versus Fighting. Yep. Uh, definitely always around. He's, he's staying down. I think he's, he's in to stay. You know? I, I, I think he's had to stay. I, I'm, I'm yeah. actually a big fan of Kasuga, so let's uh, see him do well. You know, I, I'm, I'm looking forward. So, like, uh, we only have Kasuga. For now you know because because technically to have another form you need something to happen on the stream right but you know kasuga is known to choke on stream so i don't want it but at some point there's gonna be a kasuga la forma choke you know it's, it's <laughs> yeah I, it, I feel like it's on the way but uh, let's <laughs> anyway. let's hope it doesn't <laughs> yeah exactly all right so all right upper tier B -tier. getting let's serious go. now oh getting serious getting now serious. getting serious 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 okay so of course, B Dogra, he's up there. He's doing, he's doing work, but he's not, you know, he's not at the levels he was last season. He's definitely he's, not. He's been focusing on Street Fighter, so yeah. No, you know, he's still, he's still around. He's Dogra. Sorry, Dogra. It was go. so funny because when when he was on stream, uh, like you know, you know, like the, the players <laughs> were basically sitting down right next to us. Uh, so like I was with the C four on commentary, and I went for a loud Dogra. And I saw Dogra losing it like next. <laughs> he was like, "Oh no, not these guys as well." <laughs> <laughs> they know he knows what's up. <laughs> yeah. You know, it's uh, it's like you have to uh, you have to respect respect the name. You know, you have to respect uh, the name. Dogra. Uh, <laughs> next to him is obviously the the ultimate form of Wade, la forma deportes electronicos, la, the the esports form. Of course. <laughs> and and to tell the story again, that was a Sonic Boom. He entered top eight just wearing like a sleeveless shirt <laughs> and, and lost his first game. And like immediately, like so he he lost he lost for the game and then he beat Kasuga, and then he went on to Shanks. And when he came to face Shanks, he suddenly had an esports jersey. <laughs> so funny! I don't know what, what happened. He got and, and he beat Shanks, you know. Yeah, he, he got sponsored and this came back like oh, no, I don't know, man. So you know, like, la forma de los deportes electrónicos is is on point. It's there. <laughs> 
<laughs> so you know, next to him is uh, you know like a new entrants on the tier list, three new entrants on the tier list actually. Uh, all three of them have placed ninth. Yes. At versus fighting, first one is Fruit, uh, all the way from Dubai. So Amazing. Good. So good. Uh, homemade team, Ginyu and Banjit Bu. Like I loved it. Yeah. If you want to check out some uh, Fruit matches, by the way, guys, I uploaded two of them onto uh, two sets he had on uh, the Frame Advantage Supercard onto the channel. So please check those out. Fruit is seriously. I like that that homemade team like you said man it's super clean exciting yeah. to watch uh, he's got some some next loops with kid with margin boo um so please check them out guys yeah yeah definitely uh so yeah shout out to him for the ninth place uh because i knew he was good but you know because he didn't travel i couldn't really know how how he would fare against against others yeah but he sent maddo into uh into lose the brackets that's, yes, that's he... not any that's not a small feat you know oh, exactly uh because oh yeah so just so you know i didn't know that but rudy told me today that maddo recently left his job because he wants to be full-time dragon ball player, fight, ah, dragon ball player. okay so so you know, you know that maddo is gonna come to every tournament and he's gonna be better at every tournament now yeah yeah yeah, yeah for sure man for sure now he's yeah. got back in that that's big yeah, exactly. So you know that's uh, that's a good news for him. Uh, next to Fruit is you know the the Mario Lee, the only UK player who made it to the tier list so far, yeah. and that's the one and only the hit specialist, the Goku Black Main, Obi Assassin Verde. Yeah, of course, because uh, we all know he made it to grand finals in Blaze Green this weekend, uh, the weekend. So <laughs> so <laughs> so he, he's got to be up there. Uh, you can see the Blaise focus. Co co continuum shift, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So uh, yeah, he's he's up there. He's always he was yeah. he's always doing good, and he was what, only one game away. Uh, had a close match with uh, Shanks to qualify yeah, qualify for that top eight. Yeah. Shanks, but uh, he at the moment Shanks is his demon a bit in tournaments. Uh, but he had an amazing win against uh, Kasuga, like a big comeback with no life with Goku Black. He always does that uh, stuff. I don't know how he does it. So, yeah, that, that that's the kind of stuff that he does. And and last but not least, I would say oh, the surprise of this weekend. Uh, although, like, like Fruit was kind of a surprise, but I personally knew Fruit as a fighting game player, so yep. like, I knew he had potential. But this guy, I didn't know about him before. Hayat, I he's really good. Before, yeah, I heard from the Middle Eastern guys, like they told me, watch out for Hayat. Hayat is actually good. Yeah, you know, and and I know that usually speaking in the Middle East, when they tell you someone's good, he's he's not good. Like, oh yeah, he's the best Ken in East London. You know, like like he's good, good. Yeah, yeah, for sure. You, know? yeah. and, you can trust those yeah. guys, you know. Yeah. So yeah. this guy came. Uh, beat Noka in pools. Noka being one of uh, the guys we expected to do well. Yeah. Uh, went all the way to ninth place. Mm. Uh, so obviously, like big big shoutouts to him. He came all the way from Kuwait. Uh, he's a super nice guy as well. Like got to chat a bit with him. Like it was super cool to uh, just chat a bit with him. Uh, he's sponsored by uh, uh, by an organization named uh, Yalla Esports, which as an Arab myself, I love the name because mm -hmm. you know <laughs> uh, Yalla is what you would say in Arabic. Say uh, let's go. You know, oh, so seriously, uh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. So so I, I really like the name Yalla Esports. You know, it's. Uh, very good one. But yeah, shout out to Hayat for that uh, ninth place. He closes the B tier of the tier list. That, uh, that kid boo, man, is, is super good. All right, so let's move he up to, uh, to A tier here. Well, that, that, that's one of my favorite tiers. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go. So, so let's, uh, let's run through this, right? First <laughs> <laughs> okay, hello. Okay. Your chat, calm down, yeah. You feel. <laughs> so you got you got you got Kazuno Ko, obviously. Who got uh, what did he get? He got he got seventh. Yeah, he got seventh, seventh. Yeah, seventh place. So, yeah, a, eighty and above is uh, top eight players, right? It's like it's only the best of the best. If you're A and above, it means you're like yeah, you're best of the best. Strong. Uh, so mm. obviously Kazuno Ko, uh, seventh. He got the double French jeopardy. Uh, you know, we still respect him, even though like Dragon Ball is not his main game anymore. Mm -hmm. uh, he's still top eight everywhere he goes. So like, you know that he's, you know, he's he's still that good. Yeah. Uh, so I think he's pretty much the barometer this year like, of Dragon Ball because he doesn't focus on Dragon Ball. Mm. He's the kind of guy who's like, yeah, if you can't beat me, why do you even try winning? Yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah. You know, I think I think that's the kind of guy. And and he actually lost to uh, Kane, not Kane Sin. That's the Kane Sin combos. That's the one who lost to Hook Gang God in pools. Yes. Right. <laughs> so that's that's when Kane shows up and drops every combo he does. Uh, Kane Sin combos is the curse form. It's... <laughs> that, I love I love the pitch you chose as well. He looks bare like tired. He looks like mad like tired and sleepy. Like oh my god, it's so good. And then my personal favorite. <laughs> so so the picture. I mean, I had trouble finding a good picture of him because he's not like really a social media person. But but that's Maddo, right? Uh, Maddo who got seventh. <laughs> 
<laughs> and, <laughs> and let me tell you the story of how we came up with the name Halal Kazunoko, because that's too funny. So me and C4 were on commentary when, uh, when Fruit against Maddo came, came. And the stream chat started to say typical stream chat things, uh, which was like namely oh yeah that's uh, that's walmart kazunoko <laughs> <laughs> so first first and foremost we corrected them by telling them that we're in the uk and in yeah. the uk it would be tesco value kazunoko tesco value or, or maybe lidl kazunoko would work you know like uh, <laughs> poundland kazunoko yeah, like, like these are like these, these are like cheap cheap shops right <laughs> yeah exactly and then c4 started to call him you know like sugar-free kazunoko <laughs> And like, follow me, guys. Just watch the Kazunoko against uh, the sorry, the Maddo against Fruit match, and you will hear you hear like Asda Kazunoko, Diet Kazunoko, <laughs> uh, like you know, like low carb Kazunoko, <laughs> like you know, sugar free Kazunoko, and we end up like gravitating all the way to the final choice was Halal Kazunoko. That's, that's way too good. That's way too good. Oh my god. So you know, he he will remain for me. He will be Halal Kazunoko. <laughs> He's. He's the yeah, Koshir Kazunoko works as well, you know, he's like responsible Kazunoko, that's the one. Clean, clean. Anyway, but I, I was hesitating on this one between Halal Kazunoko or Diet Kazunoko. Because <laughs> <laughs> Diet Kazunoko is quite good as well. But, yeah. Kazunoko Zero, you know. I, I, I can't wait till uh, Haram Kazunoko makes an appearance. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, looking, I'm looking forward to this, you know. That, that, like, that, when, that, when, when Kazunoko comes back and wins the tournament that, and he becomes, you know. That, that, true evil. That's that, that's like Kazunoko picks like GT Goku, Bardock, like <laughs> <laughs> you know, like all these cheat characters, man. But that's true. Ham Kazunoko is actually just normal Kazunoko. That I agree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kazunoko is, is cursed. He's cursed when he's on form, right? <laughs> okay, so, okay, so, so that's pretty amazing. Let's move up to S here. Oh, yeah, so that's that's, uh, that's that's A. We're gonna move on to uh to, to the top entities right now. These are like the, the these are like god tier and above, like. This, yeah, this is, this is getting high, right? We're yeah. an S here right now. Obviously, Kane, con loss combos. That's that's the man himself. That's that's what, the one. When he's landed. Uh, he got, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he got fifth. Uh, he played casuals against everyone and like battled a lot of people. Mm -hmm. uh, shout out to him. He lost to uh, Hugan God twice, actually. But in winners, I think he was Kane sim combos in winners. So he yeah. got bodied. And then in losers, he turned into Kane con loss combos and that was a much closer game. <laughs> so, that's when you could see the, the level up in mid sets. Oh yeah, yeah. And, and I have to say, like, it was so funny throughout the weekend because all weekend when Kane was playing, every time he drops a combo, you had people in the crowd like yelling "sim combos." <laughs> <laughs> I love, I love the picture as well. Like this is this is the better version. Like, yeah, like he, yeah. he, he looks look, he looks more clean. He's, he's, he's like he's had like a, a shape he's up. Clean. He's got, he's got a know? clean, tree, the clean, the, the, haircut, the clean, like, the clean jacket, this. the clean jacket. Yeah, man. <laughs> my, my man's looking nice. <laughs> yeah, clean man. And next to him, uh, fellow fifth place, uh, you know, the one and only who can gods. Shout out to him, the lone American representative at Versus Fighting yep. and also lone American representative in his tier list because once again, he's just a tier list for European tournaments. Who can gods is S tier. Oh, he's super sick, man. Like, I, I, I love watching Hook play. Yeah. Uh, build, build, his, build his team around Piccolo, you know, he's not going to drop big green. He's going to stick with him, so. Yeah. I, I mean, you know, Piccolo him. is him at this point. If he drops yeah. him. Yeah. He kind of loses an identity. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. That's true. That's true. Yeah, it's uh, it's the one. But, uh, but yeah, him and obviously uh, next to him is is El Padre Shanks Calvo la forma final, the final form of Shanks, the one that got that got like third at Combo Breaker, the one that got top eight at CEO, the one that got uh, fifth at Versus Fighting, the, the true Shanks. Yes. The one we follow. This is the, his, his S tier. Yeah, this is the one we know about. Like this is this yeah. is this is the Shanks that the Spanish love to support. Yeah, um, this is the shanks that gets all the Spanish Genki Dama absorbed. Exactly, exactly. This is the shanks that happens when all the chat is mad. Just like Genki Dama. Yeah. You know that that's that, that that's the one. That's the shanks. Yeah, that's I believe that's that's a pretty good S tier to be honest in in that list. Yeah, 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 for sure, for sure. Yeah, yeah. So let's move to SS. You oh, know, like oh this, SS. This is, okay, this is getting ridiculous. So now. so right now we we outside of Super Saiyan and Super Saiyan three range. We 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 are in Super Saiyan Blue range basically. Yeah, 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 yeah. We like we in God Key range right now. Yeah, it's getting kind of ridiculous now. So let's go S go S S. This is this is wait. That that listen, listen. Whoa, I whoa, I see you feel. I see you feel. Yeah. Bro. Bro. <laughs> you, you have you have to give Woke God some respect. You have to put some respect on his name. Like when when, yeah, when, yeah. when he steps up to play for reals. It's peak. Like it gets. It's gonna be rougher, man. So it's, it's absolutely peak. So you know that, like, when Wu Gengot happens, when the when the eyes turn red like this, 
you know you're in trouble because this guy he honestly he honestly gave goichi a lot of trouble in this tournament. yes he did yes he did the set hook against goichi was honestly really close mm. and that, that's what woke gang god can do man it's like it's, it's not the i sleep version it's the woke version exactly exactly <laughs> so that's the one you gotta watch out for that's that's the his equivalent of you know uh, el padre shanks calvo you know yeah that's it he's he's like the the, the ultimate yeah I believe we have three more tiers remaining. So yes, we, have we do. Triple S, quadruple S, and like five S. <laughs> uh, this is like, <laughs> this is getting ridiculous right now. This is like the power levels are like ridiculous. We we are past God key. We're getting close to the ultra instincts. You know? We're getting close to to proper like wis wis level. Yeah, right? this is this is getting kind of out of hand now. So you know, so, so triple S, you know, the, like no no debate. No debate, no debate, no debate. The robot Fenrich himself. The robot, the robot. Oh. Okay, <laughs> this is the this is the robot. Okay, <laughs> like this guy is a machine out there. He's a machine up on the stage, man. He's he's too good, man. He's too good. He's and way for the too story, good. like when, when when I was putting uh, Fenrich on that tier list, I was like, let me find a picture of Fenrich. But Fenrich is such a like shy kind of person that it's really hard to find a good picture of him because he's always like. <laughs> You know, he's like, yeah, okay, cool, thank you. You know, like kind of personality, which is why we love him, right? So I was like, why not just give him the robot emote? Because that's that's that to me just exactly like sums up who Fenrich is. Exactly right. Yeah, he is. <laughs> he, he's definitely the TOD machine. See, Kawanga in the chat knows what's up. This guy I, is. I he is a TOD robot. Like he, TOD robot. He he yeah yeah he creates them. You know, like he's a, he's a TOD factory. In fact, he is. He is. That's the one. And next to him. Uh, obviously, the huge, the MVP of the event uh, himself, like the guy who just like came out. For a lot of people, he came out of nowhere, but for us, we knew that he had that potential, and he he liberated that potential this weekend. He went like into mystic form. He's El Nino, the kid Wawa, with the potential liberado. Yeah, right? he's he's already he's already like in in level. He already levels. He's all he's level seven. You know, that's how he is. He is insane. Like honestly, the, the, at the weekend, Wawa. Put, I feel I feel like he put the world on notice like not just oh, not, not just Europe everybody because he was giving stress to the top Japanese guys like, listen it's 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 big enough that uh, so first of all like you know the the, the 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 thing he made he made like Goichi and Fenrich feel in the game I was so surprised I mean he played Goichi at Goichi's level yeah that's you know? that's, a, that's kind of unheard of right it's, yeah it's, it's like and it's not as this, like, that's the first time he faces Goichi in tournaments. Uh, like, I knew he had potential, but I'm not going to lie. I was not expecting him to, like, give Goichi and Fenrich such a run for their money. I know. I, I, I completely yeah. agree with that. Yeah. And in casuals, I've seen him, like, battering everyone. And, and I just wanted to give this story because this is something I did not want to mention on the stream because I did not want to, like, ruin the mood or anything. But I think it's important to mention this. So, what in winner's final, when Wawa faced Goichi... Yeah. At the end of the first game, uh, Wawa basically you know, wanted to drink some Red Bull. And because he was super shaky, he spilled some Red Bull on his stick. Mm. And two buttons basically got stuck. Yeah, that's, that, on the stick. that is such a shame when that happens, man. Like... Yeah. So, so I know if you remember, but like there were some really weird drops in like game two and three, which Goichi ended up like taking quite easily. Mm. And, and it's really annoying to say this because I hate saying this. Like it gives, I, I don't want to sound like I'm giving him an excuse. Obviously, Goichi is the better player. Like, you know, and Goichi, and anyway, like, they played a lot in casuals, and, like, it was close, but Goichi generally got the edge. Mm. Uh, but I'm really sad that this happened, because, honestly, the first game of that set mm. is one of the absolute best Dragon Ball Fighters games I've seen. And I think it's on par with the, like, Goichi Leffen at CEO last year. Yeah, no, I agree with that. And, like, you know? and like in uh, the Losers final, where they had to run it back with Femrich... He was yeah. he was playing on a different stick, right? That wasn't his stick. Yeah, he took a Stimora stick. <laughs> okay, yeah. Uh, who uses the same model as, as him? So he tried to like get something similar. But obviously, you know, like stick feeling is is important. Yeah. I mean, he still did great. Like he, he almost beat Fenrich and everything. Mm. Uh, but I just wanted to mention this because like I was so sad, and obviously it, it was hard for me to not like get really sad on stream. Yeah. Like I knew that this set was done. You yeah, know, so yeah, same man. Same. Then, like th that round shot. Like, yeah, Full Metal Fury is saying this. The, the Wawa against Goichi starts, like, Wawa blocked for 30 seconds straight, and then Goichi blocked for 30 seconds straight. That yeah. was maximum Dragon Ball Fighter. It's so impressive to see that. That absolute defense, you know? Yeah, yeah. And yeah, he's not going to Evo, unfortunately. I mean, so you know, like, sad. Wawa, Wawa is young. So, 
What was Yago? He's 18. Uh, he lives in a city where there is no FGC, and, and we're from the same hometown. He's from Nice in France. Nice, yeah, yeah. So if he travels, he travels by himself. And I know his parents are not really, uh, like, you know, obviously, like, uh, yeah, mom, I'm going to Las Vegas by myself. I'm 18. <laughs> <laughs> They'll be like, hell no. <laughs> no, hell no, you are not. Go home. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, like, we, like, we hope we can see him around. Like, I personally, like, will try everything to make sure that this guy comes to tournaments because he, he brought so much hype. Evo is a bit too hard because obviously, like, there's a lot. But Celtic Throwdown, Spanish Saga and stuff, like, I hope we can bring him out there because... Yeah, we're going to do our best. So much. Like, yeah, we, yeah like, like, so, like, like Damasco said, like, we're going to try and do our best to get in there, even if it requires, you know, us helping him out, crowdfunding or whatever. Like, we're going to get I, him I don't there. even mind. Yeah, like, I don't even exactly. mind. It's worth yeah, it. You yeah. know, it's, like, it's, it's, it's worth it, yeah. Like, what he brought to versus fighting, if he was not there, the tournament would have been completely different. But, but, but indeed, yeah, I'm better saying this, right? Don't know how, how an absolute prodigy like him is unsponsored. Uh, that's because, I mean, he's not able to travel. So, like, you cannot sponsor people on, on promises. Yeah, yeah. Like, exactly. after what happened this weekend, which is him getting third. Yeah, he's shown this. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And, and I've actually seen today, and that's really nice of her, by the way, Kayane. Uh, you know, Kayane, who is, like, one of the most followed person in the FGC overall. Like, she, yeah. in terms yeah. of, like, of, like, Platform. She's probably the biggest platform in the FGC. Yeah, Kayane is uh, ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. And you know, she immediately made a tweet saying, "Look at the prodigy we have in France." Mm. And she like immediately tagged the biggest esports organization that she works with in France. So like you know, they follow her. They will see that tweet. Okay, so and she I'm, was I'm, like, "You guys need to contact him." I'm praying that they they do this because like yeah. that's that is that's unheard of, right? Someone to just yeah. show up and just take it to the Japanese like that. The best players. Exactly. It's like, I was, I mean, I'll say it again, right? I knew how good he was, but I was not expecting him to play at Goichi's level because yeah. that's what he did. Exactly. He, yeah. he played the game at Fenrich's level. And we're talking about Fenrich who's always top three at every tournament in the world. Exactly. Yeah. You know, so it's, it's quite, and, and I've seen them, like I remember the next day, uh, like when he sat down in casuals, Goichi came and just sat down behind him. He didn't want to play. He just wanted to look at him, to watch him. Wow. And, and then they played a lot together. And, and, you know, like after that, Goichi literally tweeted, you made me change my mind about base Goku. That's crazy. You know, it's, it's th like... That's, that's, that's so rare that that happens as well. <laughs> I, I, made, I made the comparison and I think it's exactly this, Terrence. It's, it's literally the end of Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> like when, when, kid, like when you think it's done, they, they, they beat Kid Buu, who was yeah. like the, the biggest threat in the universe and everything. Uh, they did everything they could, and then suddenly there is this kid from a village who comes out of nowhere <laughs> yeah. and who's fucking as good as Kid Buu. That's basically what happened. That's basically who Wawa is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Uber, yeah. You know, it's it's like it's, it's like this. But yeah, I hope, like, I really hope Wawa gets sponsored because, like, I hope he just gets around, man. Like, he's the way he plays is just too good. He just plays the game perfectly. He just needs more experience to like be the guy i agree i agree 100 and i don't know if you if you've seen what i uh, if you guys have seen what i tweeted earlier uh wawa played casuals on hayat stream on the evening and there's a, a lot of footage with him against like hayat goichi fenrich maddo and hogan gods and i've seen the sickest parking bait i've ever seen like go on my twitter oh I saw, oh my god let, yes. let me let me just share the link on, on the thing it's ridiculous because i saw this i proper like almost fell from my uh from my from my chair it's it's, it's yeah. nuts, yeah. Like it's it's, it's yeah. out there. Yeah. So that's yeah. Ratings, ratings. Yeah. Goichi said Wawa have the best defense, and honestly, yeah, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> Wawa, Wawa's defense is too good, man. It's like, it's it's just, just watch watch the Wawa Goichi the first game again, when at the end when Wawa just like is ridiculously defending against Goichi. Mm, mm, mm. Too good. It's too good. Absolutely. But yeah, I, I believe it's time to uh, to to go for my for the best. Like I mean. Obviously, the best is 5S, but 4S is, is to me the best character. Okay, so let's, let's, let's go it's up my to... Main. Uh, it's my main. It's so, my main. So let's go 4S, right? This is your main? Yeah. Okay. So 4S. Th this is like Beerus Tierra. This is God of Destruction. Okay, let's, this is, <laughs> let's the, check it out. This is like, like, kike, like, you know, like whatever you want, highest tier. Like, okay, right. it, just under Zeno Sama right now. It's Whis, probably. This is Whis tier. <laughs> you know? That's the one. Sandwich. <laughs> Konwawa Absorbido. <laughs> So, 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 just when it was look like in, looking like he was on the brink of defeat, Fenrir had to reveal his ultimate attack. Right, right at the end, he was he was two zero down. It was looking rub. It was looking real bad. Had to he had to pull it out, man. He had to absorb the kid and get that Kaioken power up. He needed it. He needed it. 
<laughs> that's it, right? Like, he, he was losing 2 0 against Wawa, and Wawa killed the first character as well <laughs> on, on the third game. So, at game three, you have Wawa, he still has sparking, he, he killed the character, you're like, oh my god, he's gonna do it, he's gonna beat Fenrich 3 0, and he's gonna get the run back against Goichi. But Fenrich just like did, did the, you know, the, 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 the super boost. <laughs> the, right? super, the super boost strat, yeah. He, he just like made, like, ran the clock, made him tired, made him weak. Absorbed him, and right after this, <laughs> Grand Finals first set, 3 0 over Goichi. Like, exactly. It was ridiculous. Yeah, this, this powered up Fenrich was out of control. He was, he was running riot in Birmingham, UK. Yeah. Yeah, he, was, he was going nuts. That, 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 that was too good. Unfortunately, that, that form did not last for long enough because Goichi just adapted back. Yeah, you know? exactly. But, but, but like, the way he just like, absorbed Wawa. <laughs> <laughs> I love the image with the energy and stuff. It was too good. <laughs> yeah, but by then we all know who's at the top, right? Come on, we all we all know, we all know. There is no surprise. There he is. Five S. This is Zeno Sama, right? This uh, is like El Grande Gono. He's up there. I, I can only give a round of applause, man. Like he's he's Goichi, man. He, Goichi is. I have no words to describe nah, him. He's he's the he guy. Just, he's he's the god right now. Like, come on, like he's he's just way he too good. Fully re-established himself as yeah. the one to beat in Dragon Ball. He, he, yeah. he, it's it's so ridiculous the way that I don't know he's just like his play his his ba his normal play his base play is perfect mm -hmm. his movement is perfect his defense is perfect his uh, his like optimized combos are perfect everything he does is what he needs to do exactly so I, I'm actually glad that I saw I'm actually glad that I that I saw both uh, uh, both like Fenrich. Uh, also, Hook and God, to be honest. So Fenrich, Hook, and Wawa giving him trouble because sometimes I watch Goichi and I'm like, how the hell do you beat this guy? Yeah, it, it looks impossible sometimes. It really does. Yeah, yeah. it's it's it, it, that's how good that's how good he is, man. It's just it can only be this, man. And how about that? Can you can you can you like zoom out of this so we can see the entire uh, tier list? Absolutely. <laughs> so here we are guys this is the official canon dragon ball fighters power rankings i love it. even love this the stupid name official yeah. canon like it's, so it's good. like so, it, it sounds too legit you know it's yeah like... <laughs> it's so good but yeah there you have it guys we are gonna post this up uh on twitter alongside well, me, uh, i'm gonna post it like right now okay so you know no one can uh can, can like steal the clout i tagged everyone i have the tweet ready tweeted it is going out right now, so you guys can all have fun on Twitter. Retweet it. Uh, let me know what uh, you know what you think about uh, the tier lists. Who do you want to see, chat? Like, who who do, do you think we do you think there is someone who deserves to be on this list that's not at the moment? Yes, please let us know. Um, yeah, this is obviously a lot of fun to do. I feel like it's actually, although it's like completely silly and ridiculous, it's a really cool way of kind of uniting the community and doing like a a, a cool thing. So I like it, man.